Now these guys I recognise. Yes. So this, this is, is your famous Thomas. Can we get up here? Sure. You yeah. Can. Absolutely. Feel free. Oh, face to face with a baby T-Rex. With three T-Rexes of different ages on one platform, it's possible for the first time ever to get an understanding of the entire life cycle of this legend of the dinosaur kingdom. So having a series of juvenile skeletons like this gives you insights into the way that dinosaurs grew. Absolutely. The dinosaurs had growth spurts. Um, so this animal is estimated to have died at the age of two. Right. And this one here is estimated to have died at the age of 13. There's, you know, there's a size discrepancy here, but they're also 11 years apart. Mm. Yet this animal is only four years yeah. older than this one, yet is enormously bigger than this one. What this is telling you is that between 13 and 17, they were able to add about 1,500 pounds, that's what, 750 kilograms a year. Wow, and, and when you see the, the two skeletons close to each other like that, you really get a kind of physical impression of that. Although Thomas towers over the younger T-Rexes, even he wasn't fully grown. But at about 17 years old, he was already 11 metres long and over three tonnes in weight. So this is a juvenile, this Indeed. enormous skeleton. Indeed, this is an animal that probably died at the age of 17, right. so rather okay. young. So still a teenager. And you can tell that it's a juvenile, not only based on the histology, on the bone tissue that for which we have um, studies of it, but also because there are many bones that would fuse when the animal was a full grown that yeah. have not yet been uh, fused. One of them is here, the calcaneum and the astragals are completely unfused and both with the tibia. And it's not just the phenomenal speed at which they grew that Luis is shedding light on. The final addition to this platform will be the carcass of another dinosaur, the T-Rex's dinner. It will give us an insight into how the three T-Rexes may have interacted. So how realistic do you think it is to show three tyrannosaurs coming together like this? We have evidence suggesting that these animals lived in groups. It's very reasonable to imagine a scene like this in which you have a juvenile eating a carcass of a dog dinosaur and other individuals coming and being attracted by the carcass. If there's going to be a, a skeleton here representing an Edmontosaurus, a duck-billed dinosaur being eaten by the T-Rexes, is there actually evidence that they ate this type of dinosaur? You have evidence in the shape of bones of duck bills like Edmontosaurus that have tooth marks, essentially, and the, those marks, those scratches on the bone uh, coincide well with the shape of the crowns of the teeth of Tyrannosaurus rex. That's quite forensic. So, so you've actually got gnaw marks on a, on a duck-billed dinosaur. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Yes.